I've seen your salsa moves. So do you have a sack dance that you are forming now here in year two? I don't know. I, yeah, everyone was kind of teasing me about the last one and how I got to start doing something more. But I think, you know, my goal is just to get the sacks right now and then we'll just let the let the dance come along with it, you know. So <laughs> let's just keep getting to the sacks now. <laughs> An enormous play made by Allen and a loss of 14. It was the attack of Zach against the Eagles. One of your best performances thus far, 11 tackles, a sack, a pass breakup. How good did it feel to have a breakout performance like that here in year two? It was definitely, you know, really helpful, um, you know, just for like the mindset, just knowing that everything's been working, you know, all the hard work, um, it's kind of coming into fruition. So. Um, I'm definitely glad I had that and you know I definitely want to build off of that and you know really make a career out of it I just don't want to be a, a one-hit wonder so you know definitely hopefully it, it can continue well I feel like you're in the midst of playing some of your best football right now does it feel like everything is just coming into form for you now in year two yeah I think definitely um, you know starting to come together a little bit um, just getting more comfortable with you know just playing everything I feel like last year um, no, really only playing in really three games. I mean, that fourth game got injured, like first drive or whatever. So um, there wasn't a lot to go off of. And, um, you know, we just got a really good group uh, on defense, coaches and players. So everyone's been supporting me and helping me through it. So I definitely think, you know, it's something I want to start building on. Zach Allen was back there along with Hassan Reddick. Well, you put a lot of work in this offseason. You talked about training despite the pandemic, breaking into gyms, finding anything you could do just to get bigger and stronger. What did your regimen look like? I'm sure it was pretty intense uh, preparing for this year. Yeah, it definitely was pretty crazy. Um, luckily, you know, I had a few teammates out here, so we were able to push each other. But, uh, you know, we weren't able to, you know, s sneak in until later in the afternoon and stuff. So that whole morning, it was um, you know, one of our teammates, he built a built an in-home gym, so we get a you know first lift there, do some running in some parks, um, and then you know definitely attack the nutrition, watch film. Um, we were luckily able to have virtual TAs, but even when we weren't, still was able to watch some film and then really get the major lift done in the afternoon. And yeah, it was uh, <laughs> you know I mean even though it's the off season, we basically were putting in you know eight to ten hour days just because it is our job and. Um, you know, I think, you know, luckily it, it worked out and I'm excited to, you know, just keep building off of that. What did your eating regimen look like? I'm sure, did you have like a calorie count or did you have to cook for yourself? I and mean, that's a lot of food to uh, endure <laughs> during that time. <laughs> yeah, no, luckily my, uh, my girlfriend, she was living with me um, during it and, you know, she definitely, she questioned a lot of it, um, you know, the mat, the, the method, but it uh, it worked out. It was definitely, you know, a lot of grilled chicken, a lot of, you know, lean carbs, a lot of vegetables. But yeah, it was probably up to six to eight meals a day. Um, but, you know, I had to, I put on probably about 10 to 15 pounds. So it, it was necessary, but um, yeah, hopefully this off season we don't have to eat as much, but we'll see how it goes. The same thing, I don't even think I can smell quinoa, you know, without, you know, getting a little uh, nauseous anymore just from the amount of times I had to eat it, so. Despite all the injuries, when people get plugged into this defense, I feel like they still seem to find the success. How does Vance Joseph's defense just allow you to flourish and succeed as a defender? It's a lot of fun because it's an attacking style defense and definitely up front that's the type of play you want to have where you're just getting off the ball. Um, so I think that's why you've been able to see a lot of guys on our D-line have success and not just the D-line but everywhere around. So um, guys definitely you know love playing for him and playing in a system so I'm very fortunate to you know be a part of it. And you're able to play all along the line from zero to nine technique, which is often more of the speed pass rusher. Where do you prefer to line up? Um, really any, I mean, I've been, you know, having fun and success at all of them. So, you know, in the base stuff, I play a five, you know, right over the tackle. So, um, and I did a lot of that in college and that's probably what I'm most uh, used to, but I'm just having fun playing defense. Huge momentum play right there by Zach Allen. 